It's the end of another week, and it's Friday, so that means it's time to really depress you in case you were getting cheered up about anything by proving, beyond any reasonable doubt, the world is totally fucked up. Now, let's start off in Brazil, where the Brazilian Catholic Church is suing the makers of the movie 2012. Not for making a shitty movie, they're not just asking for their ticket price back, but... If you have seen the film, or even just seen you know, the highlights of the special effects, one of the things they do is the destruction of the giant Christ statue in Rio. It collapses and falls down. And the Brazilian Catholic Church says they own the copyright on this thing. So you're not allowed to show something that's a big fuck-off statue out in the open in a film because they own the visual existence of it. Now, they're not alone in this. This shit happens all the time. And who knows what's going to happen in a Brazilian court. But I know in any rational court, this shit doesn't work. You can't be sued for copyright for taking a picture of something from the street. But this is a big commercial venture, and maybe Brazilian court will want to make a point. So maybe they're going to find this movie studio guilty. And of course, after that shitty movie, who's going to feel any sympathy for them? I don't know if you noticed, because I don't see many people mentioning this, but did anyone notice that movie 2012 was a colossal fuck-off to the Catholic Church? Not just the giant Christ collapsing, but there's the scenes in Rome with the Sistine Chapel and that famous painting of God breathing life into the atom where the fingers touch and it cracks right along there and breaks away like God's abandoning hum humanity and the crowd praying get crushed by St. Peter's Basilica falling on them. That's just going... God's gonna fucking abandon you, fuck you all religion. I reckon they totally got away with that. That's just an aside. Let's tie some of those elements together. Italy and fucked up lawsuit. An Italian court has just found Google executives, senior Google executives, guilty over a video that was uploaded. I think this was actually on the Google video site, not YouTube, uh, with a mentally disabled boy being abused. Wrap your head around that. Someone uploads a video to the internet. This court, in its wisdom, says the senior executives of that company are criminally responsible for this. Now, there will be a lot of stupid arguments about this. Well, because we've got to protect the disabled people, and there will be a lot of people with a hyperbole of, oh, it'll destroy the internet. Look, what this is about, this is an extension of what I've highlighted before, Silvio Berlusconi and the Italian government trying to suppress dissent. They're saying, okay, you, they don't expect Google and YouTube to police every video. They know it's not possible. What they want to do is stop it ever happening. They want a legal precedent that makes the heads of the company legally responsible for what goes up so the companies will stop offering services like YouTube, like blogs, like comments on any news site. It isn't going to work. But it's pretty fucking evil. These people are seriously, totally fucked up. And I personally don't have any doubt that Google's going to go, fuck you. And really, you know what the impact of this is going to be? No foreign company, company is going to do business in Italy because they realise any of their stuff could get dragged into stupid, fucked up lawsuits and be held criminally responsible for something that no sane person thinks is their responsibility. So all this Italian court is doing is fucking over the people of Italy. And let's have a look at a court case that went the right way, in my opinion, where a judge found in favour of zombies versus police. To be a bit more precise, this happened in Minneapolis. Some protesters had a zombie protest in a shopping mall, you know, saying all the shoppers were mindless zombies. They dressed up as zombies and went, you know, leave your brains and all this. And they had some recordings, they had mobile phones and some other uh, music playing devices as part of their whole installation. And they got arrested for disorderly conduct, which doesn't surprise me too much. Uh, and I'm glad the judge threw it out. But the bit about this that shits me. The police in their report described the electronic devices the, the zombies had as simulated weapons of mass destruction. Do we see what's happening here? The bullshit war on terror being used just to suppress ordinary people. This happens again and again around the world. A term you will hear more and more often is domestic 
terrorist. And they are not going to be talking about Islamic fucking idiots who trying to kill people in the country that's looking after them. No, no, or they will be talking about them. But what they're talking about, uh, this has been used on environmental groups, and not just extreme environmental groups. It gets used on PETA, and you know I'm not a fan of PETA, but it's still bullshit to use the label. And I'll give you a link here that I really want here. I'll give you a link that I really want Americans to read, because every time I do something about Australia's censorship problems, they go, well, I'm glad I'm here in the land of the free. And I say, yeah, all you've got to worry about is your phone calls and email being surveilled. And they go, what? And I can't believe they've never heard of this. And I'll give you a link to a story about a new freedom of information uh, uncovering that has shown how fucking illegal the surveillance of American citizens is getting. Uh, like I said, this is happening to environmental groups. Uh, it's happening to white supremacists. Who's going to lose sleep over that? Fucking happened to Planned Parenthood. Now you can lay money on this. Again, these fucking people are making me sound like a conspiracy theorist. But if you're an active participant in a libertarian in a libertarian group, you're under surveillance. Hell, even the teabaggers, and you know how much I fucking hate the teabaggers, you can bet the prime movers in the teabaggers are under FBI and probably CIA surveillance, having their emails and phone calls listened to. It's just insane! And they put this shit about domestic terrorism. And yeah, there will be fuckwits in a lot of these groups who will do things that I believe count as terrorism. Blowing shit up, intimidating people, threatening people, killing people. This does happen. But they use it on ordinary people, like people doing the friggin' zombie protest. Now, there are two things seriously wrong with that. One is the obvious one, that these laws are going to be used to jail people who are just expressing relatively reasonable views. You know, if you're opposed to them, you won't think they're reasonable. But when you see someone you're opposed to getting prosecuted, rest assured, someone you completely support is also getting prosecuted. This goes across the spectrum, people, and a lot of people are going to be fucked over by this. And the really, really bad bit about this is what's commonly called a chilling effect. And this is why politicians and enforcement people say this stuff about, ah, that person's a terrorist. Because it scares ordinary people into not expressing their views. They see someone that they think is quite reasonable being labelled a terrorist, and they find out that person's under surveillance, and they go, fuck, if I get involved, if I speak up about anything, I'm going to be under surveillance. Like, if I go on strike because there's some bad working conditions, they're going to call me a domestic terrorist. If I care about environmental issues, uh, they're going to call me a domestic terrorist. If I think, in terms of, you know, Americans, particularly, their I was going to say First Amendment, it's not First Amendment, I don't even care, you know, people who want guns, what I like to call gun nuts because I don't want guns. But again, this is another case. I disagree with people, but the idea of having everyone under surveillance who promotes gun ownership, that's just fucked up. And this is what we have to be careful of, people. When governments and law enforcement and military in some com countries start pushing that everyone who dissents is a terrorist, their goal is well, first, to pull out people who are really causing them trouble. But second, to scare ordinary people. To make ordinary people not speak up. To make people sit down and shut up because they don't like it when people question what they do. They want us locked in a fucking box. Burn.